Um, something wrong? The world... changed. Day four! What the crud is going on? Did Dante change to a different timeline? Hmm, I don't know. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. Yeah. She wasn't killed. Is the game trying to tell us that sinking somehow changes reality? Because of the cog... <sighs> True, but that was only a dream. I'm so Maybe the lost. dream changed reality. Impossible. Then I how mean, else would you explain it? I don't know, man. This is so freaking... I don't, it sounds bad to say, but I prefer she was dead. I don't... Uh... Iris came back to life. No, that is not happening. There's got to be another explanation. Bro. I... Okay, call me stupid all you want. Actually, don't. I have feelings too. But, dude. Is there a possibility there's two irises? Either that or we time traveled. There's a clock on the ground. A dead clock. Hmm. Is it just me or is Dante's hair getting whiter? God, I'm. Ugh. This game is messing with my emotions. Uh. So about so. Has he done anything weird? Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Yeah, you can say that. Exhibit A. I, I don't Three days that. ago, so-called Shoko Nadami's phone. Baby, I know. <laughs> I still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night, but he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. Yeah. So was an Iris's Somnium. Wait. Oh, yeah. I thought she said... So it was an iris Asomnium, and I was like, what? Dreams are constructed from memories, yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Which we know from the Mizuki route, that isn't even true. God, this is so weird. I sent him home yesterday. You released him? We kind of have to. What was I supposed to do? Yeah. We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. What do you mean by that? In any case, uh, we have to speak with him again. So what Boss is saying, her her interpretation of it is not that what happened in So's dream was Ugh, dude, my brain don't be working. I how could this happen? Like <sighs> Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium. And that changed the history of the real world? I don't believe it, dude. That's stupid. Hmm. Huh? Well, I guess it's not impossible. What the actual... No, here's what happened. That wasn't actually Iris in the the thing. That's the only way. That isn't what you said yesterday. Yeah, why you, you changing on your mind? What the frick? That was then. This is now. Okay. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know? <laughs> Boy, don't I know that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Oh, stop it. Gosh, I love her. But like, you know, I, I want to see what her route is like. That'd be nice. Hey, uh, my dreams are kind of magical. <laughs> Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki Somnia. It must have been a prophecy oh my god the magic eyeball holy frick we are a god Boss. dude There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science that's gotta be it I, like none of this magic bullcrap happened in mizuki's route but that doesn't mean it can't happen in others bro i was right we're on mars and we have a magic eyeball boss's knack for change is one of her good qualities <laughs> one of not having beliefs in what she believes in? What? That's how she established herself as a major player in the police department. Because she believed what she wanted to. 
Okay, what do you make of this, Iba? I wish you... Why did why'd she have to... This would be so much simpler if she just saw what she saw. I don't even know anymore. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Another theory. Now this is gonna sound really, really stupid, but hear me out. That is one of two times in the game. The other time was all the way down in Mizuki route, right? It's annoying how I can't get there faster. Where Aiba wasn't present in our eye socket. Now hear me out. She keeps talking about all those drugs or like, you know, the, the supplement. I don't, I don't know. Wait, what the crap? Um, what's up with that? What I'm thinking is, it's not a dream of, it's, it's not, we didn't actually see, we saw someone else's body, and we thought it was Iris. That would explain how So doesn't actually know Iris, exactly, but knows that he tried to kill somebody, but then how was, the, the, the question that still isn't answered, right, is how we know Iris, even though we just met her. I'm thinking, because Iba was out of our eye socket, we saw something from our old memories six years ago in that warehouse. That's my current working theory. Iris never actually did die. Call me dumb, but that's what I'm starting to piece together. It's not a dream changing reality. That's just that's just stupid. It is absurd. I agree. Not possible. And yet. <laughs> Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? Man, it sure doesn't. That was a sad reality. Man, I remember being a little kid. I was like, oh my gosh, I got that. I was playing the video game in my head. Oh man, I can't wait to wake up and play it in real life. And I went to my N64 and I was like, oh, dump. It ain't even there. Frick. If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, Ugh. does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? Thankfully not. But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Yeah. That's... That's looking Within more like Mizuki's it. Within Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? <sighs> I don't even wanna. Guess we probably should. It's her fault. She's saying all this creepy stuff. I don't know. Where, where the crud is she? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. All right, we need to keep her, like, safe safe, because holy crud. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. That's not good. I don't know about that. So, where's Renju? Still nothing? Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park. There are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Well, we know that's not true. Maybe not. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. I think the third is the most realistic. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. But where, Renju? Where did you go? Dog, this sucks. Man, what about the fishery? I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. Whoa, no way. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has... The company has been managed by office representatives. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. Well, where the crud is he? Eh? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? Thank God, dude. It is possible she may have something for you by now. Okay, that's where we're going first. Sounds good, I guess. I asked Momo for info too. Had a promise of a meeting with Iris. Well, now you can actually 
Oh, God, this guy meeting up with her? That's so weird. Gosh. Mama can wait for now. Yeah, we got... We can talk to Iris' uh, mom as well. Oh, yeah. She was Renju's classmate, right? R wait a minute. Yeah, she was. Hold up. <laughs> Is there any possibility... Oh, my God, I'm trying to think. Because you remember Mizuki's route, the watch was found at the crime scene when Renju was killed in that timeline. And if the watch was given by his lover, and there's only like four girls in the whole game, do you see what I'm getting at here? She... She might have been with him. That means she's a bigger part of this than we thought. Iba told me about her. Oh my god. I'm figuring it out. I mean, not really, because I'm kind of just guessing at random, but still, think about it. Oh, yeah, what about the fishery? I would suggest searching the warehouse again. Okay. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. <laughs> resurrected. She's not Frieza. There are four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. This sounds like a fun adventure. Let's get moving. Yay! All right, I'm going to Mama's first. Because <laughs> it's the funnest quotation marks. It does have interesting dialogue, and I say interesting because it never makes me laugh because I feel like I'm too young for the joke. But I'm not young no more, so what does that say about me? You need more info on Ren? Yes. I'm sorry to waste your time, no. but I don't have anything for you. Dump! I see. Well, can you at least tell me why you're polishing the fish? Uh... No? Dump. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why are you always doing that? I find it calming. Eh, that's fair, I guess. Why is that? Don't ask me. <laughs> we'll never know! Uh, how's it going, I guess? Well, I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. Mmm, we got a lot of stuff to do. Absolutely not. <laughs> Why is he so mad? Well, this isn't getting us anywhere, actually. Huh. You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah, but have you ever seen him with, you know, a lady with... <sighs> she fixes her hair a lot. That's how you can describe her the best. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemniscate? Talent scan? What the heck? What? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemniscate. That's the first time here. Wait, has that been addressed? But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. I really hope we get a flashback of MoMA at high school. Uh, hey, Dante. Have you ever seen a dead body? What the frick? Oh my god. <laughs> you wanna see a dead body? Hey, Dante. Ah, shut up, weirdo. I drink. Ah, just like pee. I remember Renju saying that to me. After he and I went through a bottle of 7-Up. You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. <laughs> I do sometimes. So, how about it? But why would you say that? Boy, he is weird. I didn't answer. I can't blame you. Turn the question around on him. What about you? <laughs> you want to see that, buddy? Me? Well, yeah. What the frick? Okay. That's a big behind ice cube. Not just one. Countless bodies. Uh... What? Dang, idle business is scary. <laughs> when I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You, you were in the comic? No way. You know the Kumakura gang? What? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What? Why would you do that? What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. And you robbed them? Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. That's... 
I guess not the worst. You guys would get to know the old people, and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in oh, a tub full of hot water. What the heck? And they pass. Just like that. You monster! How did you... Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural. Like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. <sighs> Bro, what? Then we sell it and make massive profits. That's so... I I'd believe it if that happens in real life. That's evil. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. So I... I... You've killed him too. Why am I telling you all this? Yeah, you got me. Oh my god. Now we really gotta find Renju. The heck. Eh, I could just be lying. Are you going to arrest me? I'm thinking about it. Took a sip of my glass. I didn't say anything for a while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. You're still an accomplice. But still... Date, I... Tears fell to the counter. Unending. Why did someone like him get wrapped up in that? Ugh. He didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. Well, that's awkward. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, wh what the? What? I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. It's okay. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? Yeah. There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. Hmm, I wonder who it is. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information uh for you. Oh, ask him. Tonight? Yes. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right, let's peace out and head to oh. the Sagan. I'm so sure. It's got to be Iris's mom that's, you know, with Renju. Right? Oh, hey. I apologize for yesterday. No, that's all good, dude. I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. No, I didn't do anything. Ma'am, you gotta wear some... Like, what the... <laughs> I'm super curious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was 100% sure he was gonna... Whatever. I mean, you know what I'm getting at. Do you think... Let's just break the ice. When I was like, okay, not a little kid, but I was 14, I always heard about like people's fetishes, right? Like inflation, clowns, all that bull crap. And I thought you were genetically predisposed to getting one. So for like a good chunk of my life, I was like, please don't be poop, please don't be poop, please don't be poop, please don't be feet, please don't be feet. And it turns out, it's just girls with brown hair. It's all lucked out. And whips. <laughs> Uh, it's <laughs> Johnny isn't pure! Shut up, I never said that. Anyways, yeah, what's up with your daughter? She came back to life, the frick? I put Iris through so much. Uh... I was 19 and single when she was born. Oh, that's what you meant. People didn't take kindly to that. Yeah, Japan's... Not the most open-minded. Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. Literally. She could kill anyone in one hit. I remember. One time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy. <laughs> Why can't I imagine that perfectly? <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. That's adorable. Also, when did she inherit her Super Saiyan God powers? Uh, it's Monday? Oh yeah, what the crud? It should be work. <laughs> Today's a holiday. The frick? I suppose there's never a day off for a detective. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? Uh, did I mention that? I don't remember. Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. It's a Leif Erikson day! You forgot to, didn't you? Uh, maybe not. Can we talk about this? This is so weird. I've been wondering about that picture. Yes, finally! Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. Oh. So why does it look like Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars? It was only for three months, but... I guess she got attached. That sucks. 
you dating anybody now? <laughs> God, I'm the worst. What about your parents? Yeah. They died when I was 17. Oh my God. I was an orphan and my relatives lived far away. You poor, poor girl. I'd say woman, but you're not that old yet. Let's be real. It might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. <laughs> you poor, poor woman. But Renju would help sometimes. Uh-huh. About him. Oh boy, I thought he was just a really cruddy dad, but I didn't realize he would murder people. You asked me that yesterday. Wait. What the crud? The, the dialogue and... That didn't match up. Did something happen? Wait. <clears throat> Did something happen to him? There's no point in hiding it. Told about Renju's disappearance. Also, we got in a car crash. Also, he might have accidentally killed people. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Dump. If she doesn't know, what do we do? Also, is Iris home? Like, the frick? There's a door in the back of the room. I wonder where that leads to. Maybe where they're keeping the spare irises. <laughs> it was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. That is so... Oh my god, dude. They know my weakness. Attractive women that are... Uh, what, what's her age again? I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. Bloom Park. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm well versed. She uh, loved singing and dancing. <laughs> Even as a kid, whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. <laughs> and she did it at the show, too, toward the end. When all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. <laughs> why is that such? Why is that so, Iris? I tried to stop her, of course. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. <laughs> and everyone was so excited. Applaud, minions! I have arrived, Iris again! Even I was dancing by the end of it. Heck yeah. That's adorable. Did, can she come back from the dead, though? Like you... When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. <laughs> That's the kind of girl she was. God dang, I'm gonna cry. I hope she didn't kill Renju. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them right then and there. Even when it's extremely rude or intrusive. I always love that about Iris. Music at the train station the crosswalk beeping, even at convenience stores. What? When their little chime played, <laughs> she would start dancing. That sounds kind of obnoxious, not gonna lie. It almost got her into trouble once. She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. It was playing loud music out the windows. She climbed up to the top and started dancing. On top of the jungle gyms. But she lost her balance and fell. <laughs> she fractured her leg pretty badly. It was on a Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I'll keep that in mind. Don't break your leg on Sunday. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to uh, dance, Mommy? Uh, Can I still dance? Oh my god! She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, hmm? that's not true. There was one other time. When he got shot in the arm. Yeah. I, you really gotta ask. You already know. Maybe not. Uh, sorry, I'm dense. Could you elaborate? Six years ago. Yep. I was the victim of a shooting. After the surgery, Iris came in running. And she was sobbing. Oh, no. Come on. No. Mommy, don't die. Don't die. <laughs> Please don't die, Mommy. Bro. I, I, I swore to myself then that I would protect her no matter what. <sighs> Bro. I'm sorry, that's all I can say. This is. Iris isn't everything to me. 
more important than my own life. At the same time, though, uh, who knows the lengths, like, you know, a mother would go to make her daughter successful. <laughs> so basically, Iris is super cool. Iris must really enjoy dancing. Yeah. Dance of the Dead, also known as murder! Yeah. Though her drawing skills could use some work. Yeah, she often sucks. Drawing skills? Look at the drawing on the wall. I know, I've been so interested. It can't be just a coincidence. Kaito Momota's gotta be in this game I too. I met him about six years ago. <sighs> Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? No, I, I haven't. Now, can we get these feet off screen? Jesus Christ. I was praying there one day and I heard a voice. Well, more like a groan. The frick? Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. What? Was he drunk? He was bleeding badly oh. in his stomach. God. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist and he held me. And then he kissed me. What the f Okay. I was shocked, but when I stared into his eyes, uh, this is really awkward. <laughs> then I heard footsteps, and then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance, and don't call the cops. Well, how could well, uh... I knew he had to be a criminal, so I took him to an underground clinic I knew. How did you know an underground- uh, What? You took him to a mob doctor? What the cr- how are you- Because of Renju. Renju's friend. <clears throat> I only met him once. Dog, what the? Okay then, that is an interesting story. Would you like to continue? The drawing on the wall looks interesting. We already examined that. I, I, I guess we gotta click it again. Whoopsie. Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. So romantic. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us. <laughs> and he clung on to my <laughs> He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. Yeah. That sounds like Kaito. God. I miss him every day. Anyway, uh... It's Frick. Okay. Then, why did he... So just by circumstances, she got wrapped up with a with a criminal. But you should have known. You have to take care of Iris. You can't be <sighs> She's so Our old. second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse hmm? and kissed. What the a warehouse? I don't think we ever <laughs> said I love you. But we both knew. We were getting closer and closer. Hatomi, you gotta be kidding me. You can't I introduced him to Iris oh, no, about no. a month after I first met him. Listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into details, but I'm this part this game is weird, okay? I do not like this section. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. I know. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. But then he just peaced out two months From later. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. <sighs> Every day was so exciting. Listen, I'm happy for you, but I'm starting to now see the connection. Like, <sighs> this guy, chances are high. He's, if he's not a part of the Cyclops killings, I don't know. He's... Oh, sorry. You asked about the picture. Yeah, yeah, what about it? He wanted to make Okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. Is that why there's blood all over? <laughs> it was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. So that's what's on your heads, huh? Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. <laughs> I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an Okonomiyaki on their heads, too. The frick you just call me? Oh, that, yeah, the Japanese food. Flop, flop. <laughs> I added the Benito flakes and mayo and sauce. All right, now you're just getting nasty. The frick. At this point, there was no going back. 
I became an omonogi o yiyaki. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. Oh, so that's not a murder scene. Cool. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. Y'all weird as frick. Like, normal people don't act like this. So Iris decided to draw it. Okay. It's nostalgic. Well, I know for certain now, the man in this photograph is someone we have to find in the story. But those days didn't last. Yeah, he just peaced out. Six years ago, what? in November. Six? A man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. Oh. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him, and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. No. God. He hit me. But the police arrived. They were both arrested and incarcerated. I got them both. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. Ah, uh, Tommy, come on! Like, you you can't be just be out here kissing dudes at shrines that are criminals! I don't know the details, but it was awful. We gotta go to jail. Wait, no, let me rephrase that. We gotta go to the prison and find that convict. He... That's her boyfriend, or her old boyfriend. Her new boyfriend's Renju, who we don't know where the frick he is. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. It's all about the mob. Girl, why are you looking at me like that? What the frick? I don't even like you like that anymore. You be. May I ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break in gone wrong. Well, why didn't you tell us? Well, yeah, why don't you tell me the truth the first time? Oh. That's not true. You lied! I lied about it at the time, because of Mizuki. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. That's fine. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. Yeah... I didn't want Iris to know. I would crush her. That was such a happy memory for, you know, childhood. Know what? I, come on. That I was dating a criminal. He was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... I mean, what is up with uh, Tommy dating bad dudes? Like, for real? You know, I'm a cop. Not the bad kind. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is really strange. Is that all we gotta do here? This when she was 12. I'm still trying to, like... Because six years ago, that can't be a coincidence, man. Wait a minute. Hold, wait, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh my god, brain blast, Jimmy Neutron. If that happened six years ago, and we lost our memory six years ago, is it possible that Date was the person that shot her? No, then she'd re she'd recognize me, right? <sighs> Dude, I don't even know. Anyway, yeah. Date. Oh crap! I, I skipped over that. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Let me do my best Iba impression. Date, we can't spend time reminiscing or looking at the lady's feet. We got to go. Yeah, let's go. Later. This is creepy. Uh, let's go to Lemnus Gate just to make sure Iris is okay. God dang, Iris had such a sad... Man, what's up with all these deadbeat dads anyway? Frig, man, tick me off. Take some responsibility. I know my subscribers ain't being like that. Oh, what? I am so aggro right now. Uh, hi, Iris. Who says that? I don't know. She's so weird. Why are you angry? <laughs> you backed out on your shovel forge promise. But I, t I was busy. Shut the. <sighs> I didn't make any promises. I said I might. You promised me a date, though. Well, I did go to your house. And you were dead. Sorry. Two minutes before midnight. Hey, you know, I'm an adult. I... And you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. <laughs> it's not my fault, Frig. We could have gone somewhere. I'm not going out in public with you. Sorry. Eater of Kuneshir, Shikotan, Habamai? Keep your magic incantations to yourself, ma'am. Frig. Absolutely not. But with the secretary. Then you should have come earlier. Well, dude, I, you're not going to guilt trip me into this. I had to make sure you didn't die. Hey, what's up? So what's your type? Huh? <laughs> well, mm -hmm. I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. 
What? I cannot even picture that. What is she talking? Iris, what is she talking about? I don't. You're still the biggest mystery in this game, receptionist lady. How do you just make up new words? Johnny, you should talk to Iris. She's way cuter. Shut the freak up. You're 10. I want to know your measure. Chill out. Want to know where Renju is? She doesn't know that. Oh. Let's ask this. <laughs> um, I'm 5'4". Really? Wow. That is clearly not what you meant. Uh, oh, boob size. It's not that big a deal. Can I have your contact info? <laughs> Don't we already have that? Um, why? Uh, you know. Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Hmm, I don't know. You might try and stalk and kill me, so... Sorry. Date, we're on an investigation. Listen, I'm trying to investigate the love of my life, alright? Just let me have this. Gosh, you're, such, you're so jealous. Fine, I'll... But yet, can I get a number? <laughs> That's enough. Oh my God. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. Okay, Jesus. <sighs> I was wondering if there was another ending. Guess not. Okay, we'll finally talk to Iris since everybody wants me to. <laughs> yeah. And that's not me being a Sundari. Uh, anyway, I saw your bo oh. oh my God, no! Don't say- Iris, I promise you won't laugh, but- Oh yeah, we, we, can, we can finally talk to her. I saw something the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your dead body. What the frick? That's weird! <laughs> <laughs> nice prank, bro! <laughs> uh-huh. I told you not to laugh. Well, I guess we broke another promise. But, uh, come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Uh-huh. Look, I can jump around. Stop, I'm serious. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. We gotta ask about so, dude. And here you are, which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. Dante, you're a little scary. I don't wanna hang out with you anymore. Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. Uh, no, it's fine. Is it? <laughs> Sorry for laughing. Is it cool? Or <laughs> something just like. What the frick are they talking about? <laughs> I just didn't know what was up with you. They cool. Huh? I believe you, Date. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think. Where's the flowchart pointing anyways? Okay, over here. I'm cool with that. But still, what the crud? Another bizarre explanation. Well, whatever. Never seen Renji at all. What about him? I didn't need to hide it. Told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? Yeah, he lucked out. Kind of. I'm worried. Eh, don't be. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. But once I find him, I'll kill him! <laughs> I can't decide. Is she actually behind all of everything, or is she just a giant weeaboo? I don't know. Can it be a What's a weeaboo from Japan? I wonder if there's Japanese people that like American stuff. What do they call them? <laughs> Cultured. No. But, uh, you got the day off? The freak? Oh, yeah. Off? It's a holiday. Yeah, from school. I'm also a truant officer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. W w without a... Oh, she has a director. She doesn't have a president here. Okay. Why was your phone off yesterday? Uh, wasn't she? Yeah, she was doing the podcast. We already know that. So just ask, yeah, has she met the politician at all? I've seen him on TV. <sighs> Same thing. Ever met him? No. Dump, what? Not at all. Never. No, not at all. <sighs> what the crud? How is that possible? I'm so oh. lost. I know you were mad about our date, but... Why was your phone off? Hmm? What's that look? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... The... Dude, turn the, turn the vision on. Like, what the crud? We gotta see if she's lying. She's gonna lie. <laughs> Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? Iris, what the frick? And you left the house as well. 
Where did you go? Just tell me the truth! You really want to know? Uh... You, you, you witness this, whatever she's about to say. Yes. Please. And you'd do anything for the answer. Listen, I, I, sh she's 18. Oh my god. Yes. All right then, Shovel Forge. No! You, you, no! No. Just tell me now! Then go on a date with me. I swear to god, I hate this character so much. I don't care if she freaking died and came back to life. I'm so mad. I don't like you. You're almost worse than Ota, and that's saying a lie. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Don't be bringing a phoenix into this. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. So what? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. We actually gotta play freaking Minecraft. <sighs> oh my god. This is bullcrap. Why are you so easily manipulated? No, we're not. So what are we doing? I don't know. Let's bust out the controllers. I guess we're playing Shovel Forge. What do you mean? For our date, of course. Oh, I don't know. Like, this dude's like in his 40s or whatever. We can't be going out with Iris. She's much more my type, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, wait, can, I can ask again? <laughs> I want to. I'm serious. I don't care. I'm going to pop out. No. <laughs> Fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bad ending. Oh my God. It's actually a bad ending. I but flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the deck. <laughs> Receptionist immediately fainted. No! Iris saw the whole thing and also fainted. And so my story ended. Frick. You gotta be trolling. Oh, okay. Okay, I was just kidding. What did it say? What did it say? But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask. <laughs> God. I gotta stop advancing dialogue so fast. Why do you keep fixing your hair? Okay, I don't know. I don't want to talk about my love life or not, but... When a girl is interested in me, I notice they sometimes be... They fix their hair a lot. Anyways, this is clearly not a door. There's probably an office back there. Are you sure? Like, is it... I don't know about Japan, but that don't look like a... Okay, I know it's on the other side, but whatever. Ugh. What do I do? I don't want to go on a date with her! Why isn't Iba stopping me from doing this? Friggin', you know? The more, uh, girl my age is off limits. I see you, Japan! Ageist. Despicable. She's still young. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll go on your stupid date. Because it's my name. I feel like this game was designed just to make me mad. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Yay! <laughs> God, she's so happy, though. Uh, well, you can't get murdered if you're next to me, I guess. Why are you so you'll play Shovel Forge with me? Whatever, as long as we're not seen in public. I will not. What? Just play the stupid game. So we'll go on a date then. I guess. <sighs> yes. Deal. We're not going to Bloom Park. Don't say Bloom Park. And you have to honor our agreement this time. Fine, whatever. I can't believe it. Oh, but we can't go right away. Why not? I have a recording coming up. Okay, yeah, you're gonna get kidnapped before the recording. Cool, whatever. I should be done by three, though. Fine. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it! Gosh, you sound so hot. So, Date, meet me back here at three? Whatever. If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Yeah, you're so aggro. Yeah, bye. Anyway, bye for now. Peace! Goodbye. She was in the pose of her figure. It's kind of weird. Iris smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. I mean, I want to say all that. We can talk to... <sighs> Whatever. When is the receptionist side game going to happen? That's all I want to know. Anyways, we're driving over here again. God, we've gone, we've gone to this area so much and nothing ever happens. Except that one time where something did happen and it was scary. So Sejima is a key person of interest in this case. Eh, debatable. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. Uh, okay. But, I checked the call logs of So's phones. But really, like, if he's never seen Iris, and she's never seen him, the frick? Congressman Sejima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. Hmm? 
I looked into So's secretary's phone. Okay. One call in particular stood out to me. Oh my god, this is this could be big. Huh? It was one week ago from Fuju Prison. The prison. The caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Holy crud. Number 89. Yes! Come on, we gotta know who that is! Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. We gotta call him. Dude, just bring him up. I know killed Shogun Adami. But why did he call that person a week ago? Why did he call so? Or so secretary? God, this is getting weirder and weirder. Who was 89? We gotta know. From what I can determine, he is an assassin. Really? He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. <laughs> that ain't Falco, though. <laughs> Falco. <laughs> okay. Correct. He is a fan of Super Smash Brothers Melee. Not the newer ones, though. Cool. I can. I don't agree, but I can. Why? Why is that a flashback? Well, what jail's he in? Come on, we gotta go. Murder. Uh, uh, that didn't answer my question. The question was, what was he in jail for? <laughs> he is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. Well, where's he at, Iba? Murder. I didn't ask that. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years. Six years ago. Date, shut up. I'm not like you. I'm nothing like you, Date. My tastes and women are vastly different. Uh, what's 89's name? Yeah, that would help. Unknown. The dumb. We gotta know how. Like, come on, we can get that. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. Why not? He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. Uh, so Japan doesn't keep track of their foreigner... Uh, I guess, yeah, that, that would be complicated. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Weird. So if he's a Japanese citizen, why don't we have his name? That's even... That's even fishier! I got nothing, but... Dang, I can't remember if Hitomi said her boyfriend died or not. But I think the guy that came to... Yeah, the guy that came that night to kill Hitomi... Or, yeah, Hitomi's boyfriend at the time. That's number 89. It's gotta be. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. <sighs> number 89 said he knew who killed Shoko. He did. How would he know that when he's behind bars? But that may be a lie. Well... Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Well, it doesn't hurt to try, right? Number 89. Should we visit Fuji Prison? Yes, please. No. Not! We don't have time. What the time, please? Jeez! Oh, yeah, your date. Wow, that sucks. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. That's also good. Roger. Okay. Thank God. Cause dude, he's such a he did, we never went there in the other timeline. Bro, that's got I feel like we're so close to the truth in this route. It's crazy how two routes can be so different. But like ugh. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage where. Yeah, cuz you moved it. Where'd you move it so? Isn't your investigation over? I'm about to kick you in that pond. Look at him. <laughs> no bodyguards around today, huh? <laughs> Just turn around. <laughs> There's one in the bushes. Behave. Okay. Let's just... <sighs> this guy, dude. <sighs> Don't start with 89. We already asked him about Iris, too. Why were you there at the warehouse? You need some alibi. I told you I will not answer that question. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. Exactly. You have to, dude. It appears that he will not respond. This is such bullcrap. Uh, no matter what we ask him, it's pointless. He's such a turd. You are beginning to irritate me. Oh well, I guess I same for you. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> we really got to get that printer. I have a look. A merman. <laughs> so is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. Not even a giggle? God dang. Wait, a merman? <laughs> Good. Uh, so Iris said she didn't know you. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. 
I've never seen her before. Date. Now he's lying. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. Wait. But why didn't the scan off go before? After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? Why did that change? I guess we just weren't scanning before? Crud. Number 89. Who is that? My favorite Dalmatian. No, you know who it is, you prick! An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What's that supposed to mean? What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. Uh, I guess that makes some sense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. What? If you need information, you can ask her. Where's she at? Help him escape. What if she was at both secretaries? I can't help you. That would actually be rather suspicious now I think about it. Haven't you people got enough? What are we talking about? It's just me here. I'm very busy. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. I don't ever want to see you again. Too freaking bad. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. <sighs> okay. It's what's best for both of us. Understand? What does that mean? I mean, you could take that as, yeah, if you show up again, I'll kill you, but... That's still weird. He walked away sternly, like he had a stick up his butt. Who does this guy think he is? I know! Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Dude, mine's been maxed out this whole freaking... Ugh. Any higher could kill you. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Relax, Date. We still have much to do. Yeah, I gotta get ready for my date. I know! I know! Whatever. <laughs> Knew it. Man, we couldn't get nothing from him. How many days are we in? Wait, yeah, it ends on the 6th, right? There's six days, and this is the 4th. And last time, there's a huge investigation, too. I bet in my left eye socket, I walked in the... Why did it specify that? I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seems to change from last night. <sighs> Bro, I mean... Yeah, we can't even look... Look over here this time. This is so weird. Hi, I'm Jermaimon. Uh, what? What? Iba, the jokes. You've got to stop. Me? I gotta resume. Is that a, is that a pun on Digimon? I don't know. That joke was as flat as. Uh, actually, who is the flattest in this game? I guess it'd be Mizuk. Let me phrase that. Hitomi. There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. Dude, there's nothing here. I'm like freaking out. Like this is. Ugh. There's literally nothing remotely scary about this place, but it just makes me so... I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, we searched the warehouse. There's nothing. To find anything Nothing. Else. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. I, but I'm getting a little sick of your riddles. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> well, it's not out loud. I gotta hear it. For you. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. Yeah, I know. At this rate, they might find your body in here. <laughs> okay, gotcha. We're piecing out. Back to Abyss HQ. I thought we had to. I thought we had to go to our date. <laughs> oh wow, John, you're really looking forward to that, huh? <laughs> you sicko! Oh, shut up. Just you know, we're late for it, right? Return I, I Abyss, <laughs> Abyss HQ with Iba. Duh. Needed to talk to the boss. About what? God. Uh, anyway, I entered the room. The boss smiled like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Thanks. You're such a... She's so great. Number 89? He's here. D dang, really? In the interrogation room. Okay, sick. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. Okay. Don't worry, I won't kill him. One of the higher-ups needs me. Dump. I don't like the sounds of that. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Heck yeah, buddy cops! Understood. Nice. We finally get to see who the crud this guy... I mean, we, we already know who it is. It's him. The dude. That, you know... Right, it's kind of... 
God dang, I don't remember the first episode. What did he look like? It is him. Dude. This is weird. What? So what is... Oh. God, look at him. I hate this. Ah, eh? what? What's going on? Let's get started. Why does it keep happening? I gotta... Dude, they had to know each other six years ago or something. Because every time that pops up, it's because of the Yakuza. Right? I don't like the looks of this guy. It's just... Ugh, there's so much about this situation. So what's your name, buddy? Number 89. Ugh. Your real name. I don't know. I forgot. <sighs> God dang, you sound so cool, though. I'm so jealous! Meanwhile, I have the voice of a fourth grader. Where are you from? Uh... Djibouti. <laughs> Djibouti? Sounds like booty. <laughs> Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. Oh. He is being serious? I guess that's why he really isn't... ...named in the criminal records. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Th th there are white African people, Date. I know it's hard to believe, but like... Oh, it was a joke. Okay, whatever. Why did you call So's secretary? Oh, you know about that. Yeah. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. Is that the same thing he told me? You spoke with him directly? Yeah. So he lied about that too. B what the crud? What'd you tell him then? I told him to call somebody. What? Somebody. Uh, what? Where's this going? Who are you? I can't tell you anymore. What? Then why are you here? <sighs> you god dang prick. I... <sighs> I don't know. You don't know how many people you killed? It's not like I'm counting. Do you know about her murder then? Alright, let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. What the f- Why do you think I'm here? For your f entertainment? Why are your thumbs like that? Are you a gamer? What the- We haven't agreed on a deal. <sighs> God, can we really give him anything? No, we can't let this guy go free. He's gonna kill. A You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yeah, sure, whatever. Totally do. Yes, I promise. <laughs> Just like I promised Iris. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. Uh, crud. You don't want to release me. Yeah, we'll release you, but not in Japan. How's Djibouti sound? <laughs> That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. I see his outlook is very realistic. What do you mean? You really want to know? Uh, do I? Here's what I mean! What, what the crud? No! What? God, what the heck? Pewter, get him! Oh my god. What? Do- No way. What's going on? No. You'll make a good hostage for me. You're kidding. Take me to the exit. Now. Iris is gonna kill me. I'm late for my date again. Oh my. Whoa. 